With ambitious government fuel regulations on the way, automakers are under the gun to increase fuel economy. And while some manufacturers are spending lots of time and money on alternative fuel concepts like electric hybrids and fuel cells, when it comes to squeezing out the maximum miles per petroleum gallon, it's hard to beat the trusty diesel. And this week, FYI reporter Jennifer Kaznabas offers us proof that diesel is no longer a dirty word. With so many alternative fuel vehicles hitting the market these days, many people are asking the same question. Whatever happened to the diesel? Well, the answer is the diesel is still very much alive. In Europe, nearly two-thirds of all new passenger vehicles sold are diesel-powered. In America, the diesel population is still tiny, but it is far from dead. The diesel-powered cars of today and tomorrow are a lot different than they were 10 years ago. They have a lot more performance, they offer great fuel economy, and we're starting to educate people as to what the benefits to the consumer are. But right now, there are quite a few consumers to reach because less than 2% of the U.S. cars and light trucks are diesel-powered. Any negativity about diesel is really based on, on the past and, and people's past experience with diesels. Um, what's interesting in the past is that you had a lot of die-hard diesel fans, people who loved their diesels. The diesels of the past uh, might have been associated with a kind of a noisy technology, maybe a little smelly, some smoke coming out of the exhaust pipe from time to time. That's the diesel of uh, 20 years ago. The diesel of today is nothing like that. It's a quiet, clean technology that has none of those attributes. What it does retain, though, is the inherent efficiency of the diesel engine, which gets more miles per gallon than gasoline. The engines typically last a little bit longer, and they tend to be a little more reliable uh, for the long haul. Aside from heavy-duty SUVs and pickup trucks, the only diesel passenger cars sold in the U.S. today are the Volkswagen Golf, Jetta, and new Beetle TDI models. TDI stands for Turbocharged Direct Injection, which means that diesel fuel is injected and ignited directly in the engine cylinder head by means of an advanced electronic control system. This not only saves fuel, but produces carbon dioxide emissions that are 20% lower than that of a comparable gasoline engine. There are also no mechanical controls from fuel pedal to fuel injection. This is a major advancement in the world of diesel. I think you'll see penetration in, in the U.S. market in diesels. I think we will solve the problems. I think you'll start seeing them quickest in our uh, truck and SUV and uh, kinds of segments. Those are our bigger vehicles where you actually really get the payoff of diesel in terms of gallons saved. So it's a better payoff for the customer. But this payoff will be for more than just trucks in the near future. And this is a point that car companies are all about proving. That is why symposiums like this one sponsored by U.S. Car in Washington, D.C. are being organized. It's all about showing lawmakers the advantages of the diesel engine. We're interested in folks not only seeing our technical exhibits here and understanding the real aspects of the clean diesel system, the cleaner engine in the vehicle, the cleaner fuel and the after treatment system, but also to go experience the technology. Federal mandates to make cleaner low sulfur diesel fuel will take effect in 2006. Beyond that, there is the promise of the wider use of biodiesel, a cleaner burning diesel fuel made from vegetable oils. Pure biodiesel or a mixture of biodiesel and low sulfur diesel fuel is already used by commercial and government truck fleets in many countries, including the U.S. With cleaner, even more efficient diesels ahead, it's only a matter of time before the United States catches a ride on the diesel wave.